Geelong with just four majors in this final term, the same as the Tigers. This place has worked hard. They've had a handful. And awkward looking kick to Long with Mimba. Just got himself uh, a little bit on the wrong foot as we saw. Just one bounce too many there from Young Tucky. Been saying that, Jared, if the VFL team, Cabo by reports, is going really well, you've got to perform good performances. Yeah. Well, Terry Wallace has said that there's guys pushing up from the reserves. Well, That's why blokes have been axed. Somebody's got to get a more exposure because clearly this is not about uh, playing finals footy yep. for the Tigers. This is about seeing what they've got and building. And this is unacceptable. I mean, he's got to make a statement, doesn't yeah, he? he this is unacceptable. No doubt. All right. It would be a fair bit of match practice I would have thought earlier in the week, Tuesday. They, they wouldn't have a bruise out there tonight. Seriously, they wouldn't bruise a great. Bring your mouth guard to training as Ling marks with four minutes to go. Well, disappointment uh, for the Heritage's number one member. Oh, the bottle is back on the shelf. Robert Walls will be there just uh, gnashing his teeth, but uh, he'll have his say on the couch. Hawkins will try and make it with this kick. Geelong's highest ever score against Richmond and the most points ever conceded by Richmond in a single game. So, an element of history for this young Cats group. Hawkins, by the way, lining up for his fourth goal in the second half. He kicks this clean, will be the fourth player Geelong to have four goals next to their name. That's a record for a night match at the Dome in May. <laughs> Hawkins kicks it. Oh, they're just being silly now, aren't they? Three minutes to go. They're up to 215. That's 24 points short of the all-time record. The lead is 150. The all-time greatest winning margin, by the way, they won't reach. That's 190 for Troy and Melbourne back in 79 at Wolverine. It's a bit of work to do for McGuan here. Yeah. But, I mean, he's just been in a position, I think, effect to spoil a couple of times, and he hasn't been able to do it. We saw Hawkins here just turn his body a little bit, knowing that McGuan was going to come on the right-hand side and try and punch. But he just protected the ball with his right shoulder, which was uh, pretty good work. Umpire still bouncing it well. Nathan Ablett is caught, got the hand pass away. Varko, he's slippery. And he feeds it out wide to Milburn. Goes back to Varko. And that was good play by the Cats. Milburn for Bartell, finishing with some right. Is there another one waiting for them? Steve Johnson has kicked two in his return. Good He's tackle. caught there by Foley. Foley's been one of those Tigers that hasn't stopped. He's been one. Richmond's best by a mile. Yeah. Ta tackling range. Oh, he was pinned him for holding the ball. Like, I don't need any more insult. You're right, Jared. Ten clearances, 13 contested possessions, 28 possessions for Nathan Foley. Moving over yes. the top. Johnson on the run, gets the Tigers in the air, his kick dies on its way to the square, and Bowden concedes. White in the back pocket, and now loose men, his hide, coming up on two minutes to play. McGuan goes deep. Newman at the back, Pettifer, Enright, kept his footing well, that is the foot, he's got Blake, oh big man, he's got space, what are you going to do Mark? Well that wasn't what we expected, but still, they keep the footing. A bit of unpredictability about them. Scarlett to Corey. Good ball to the wing, Kelly. Should take off here. Good run by Mooney. Kick's going to make him work. Can. Time for a party trick. Towards Ling. He's got rid of Doidio. Oh, big mark from Big Red. Well, it was a big grab. And he's played a fantastic game, Cameron Ling. He's really turned his... Big year, hasn't he? Oh, his form around. And this... Mark Thompson's got it right with Cameron Ling. He's playing on the opposition. What's he done here, Dan? No, that's just the way he landed. The scramp, hopefully. Yeah. Look, last year, Cameron Ling, knew, all due respect, he was getting 35 touches. Yep. And Geelong were losing games of football. Now he's having his 17, 18 touches, playing in the opposition, better play. We've seen the replay here. I think he just landed a little bit stiff-legged, Jared. Okay. 
to goal number 35 tonight for Geelong. <laughs> Lynn kicks his third. As it stands right now, this is the eighth highest score in the history of the game. And just to finish it off with Cameron Lee, I think he, he's got his right spot. Mark Thompson needs to be congratulated for the form and what he's done with Cameron now. He's playing on Brett Deledio. Now, Brett's got to find something here. You know, Lynn's kicked two goals in the last couple of minutes. He's only had the six possessions, Brett. And it's just the next phase in his career. You know, he's going to be a very, very good player, Brett Deledio. He'll learn a hell of a lot from playing on a guy such as this. He's got a big motor. He's got great concentration skills. A fine effort from Cameron. 157 points is the margin. Is there time for one more on this amazing night for Geelong? Truly remarkable. We came here expecting them to give it some sort of effort, but not quite to this extent. It's been staggering. Right, right. Up and to well, Richie Benno will be pleased with his final yeah. score. <laughs> Give it to us, Jared. <laughs> I wouldn't go near it. <laughs> Out of respect for the great man, I wouldn't go near that. What's the arms, fellas? What's the arms? Get him up. Get him up. Umpiring to the bitter end, and that's what it's been for the Tigers. Well, he warned them. Delidio the free, advantage play on. Here's King. Had it 12 times. Reigns trying to bomb it from long range. Oh, good hands by Mackey, who's spent the second half down in defence. He kicked four goals in the first half. With 20 seconds to kick a goal here, the Cats. And an outside chance. Yeah, they give it to Varco. Wants to run the veteran. Centering ball, awkward. Gonna Look out. Tough. Don't get injured now. Blake is tied up. They'll stop the clock. Well, Mark Thompson and his team can take a bow. They're three and three, they're in the top eight, and they host the unbeaten Eagles next week at home. It's going to be a beauty. What a night for Geelong. A record-breaking night at the Dome. They equal the eighth highest scoring league history. A 35-goal avalanche as they smash the Tigers to the tune of 157 points.